Hey, hello and welcome to another episode of Evolvepreneur Secrets for Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Brian Silverthorne, and I will always like to help entrepreneurs uh, make the differences they want to make in their business and to deal with the challenging circumstances involved in startup and growth or relaunch. And today we're going to dig deep with our special guest and get you some great concepts and strategies to fast track your business. And we're going to do it all in 10 minutes or less. And our uh, guest today is Roderick Chance. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to monetize your skills in any economic client. And Rand Randrick is a U.S. Navy vet. He's an author of 13 books, a speaker and a lifestyle coach. And he helps professionals, entrepreneurs, and ministry leaders monetize their skills. So welcome to the show, Randrick. Hey, Brian. Good to be here with you today. I appreciate it. Yeah. So where are you hanging out? I'm actually in the San Antonio area, on the northeastern side of San Antonio. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a nice part of the country. I was there for a short period of time once, but it was very enjoyable. Lots to do in that city. Indeed, indeed. And especially now, I mean, it's hot, but we got had some rain in the past couple of days, so it's perfect. <laughs> good, good. Okay, so let's get going here so we can uh, give our listeners some great information in a short period of time. So let's start with who's your ideal client? My ideal clients are professionals and entrepreneurs, meaning that professionals who are high academics, uh, doctors and so forth, um, those who have great credentials but aren't using it, in, especially on the online world. Entrepreneurs in the sense of those who are doing six figures at least to be able to add extra product or service to their business, especially if it's brick and mortar, to do something on the online space. Okay, so six-figure entrepreneurs who are looking to expand their business uh, through the online services, that sort of thing. So That's what I think, yes. What specific problems do you solve? Well, what I do is I search, for example, if let's take a doctor, right? That's really the best of all. They have a large client base already. They're already delivering their regular service and pretty much they're not necessarily lacking. However, we say, hey, well, what else can you offer your, 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 your patients? Because, you know, what if you created a course, a book? Now they're learning from you. Now you can use that even for speaking engagement, doing things on the side. And so that's how we come alongside them, showing how they don't even have to disrupt their personal business and what they're doing, delivering their service. But if we can create these other things, i.e., as you meant, um, you know, a book, a course, uh, some online deliverable program, you know, that can be ongoing, continuity uh, type program, then they're able to add extra income to their stuff. And I think a lot of their patients, from what we've seen, are blessed because they're like, wow, I didn't know my doctor has these other things as well. And so it's like, wow. And so it's value added as well in the process. Okay, great. So you help them expand their business without uh, disrupting their regular business. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So when it comes to your ideal client, what kind of symptoms do they have? What's going on in their business that caused them to reach out to you for help? Well, on the uh, some of them are looking for maybe an advantage or maybe get into the speaking world. Uh, some of them want to add an extra, you know, little something advantageous so it's like okay you already doing this you have your md you have your education but in the world where we live in uh, expert industry type thing it's like how can i be known how can i be made you know uh, get my name out there so that's where we say okay if you leverage your stuff as an expert by teaching by putting it into a book or a course or something along those lines, now you are able to establish instant credibility beyond what you were doing. And when we say monetize your skills, we talk at least because some people, as you say, they may not see themselves as an expert. So we say, look in three areas. One, education, your expertise or experiences. Education, you already have those letters behind your name, right? You, whatever those are, uh, but you might be an expert in whatever field that is, or you might have an experience, you went through a divorce, you went through depression, you're able to lose weight, you can take that experience now and wrap a product, a program or service around it and leverage the power of technology online to be able to serve a broader base. Okay, so they, they want to expand their presence in some way or uh, expand their identity in some way. And that's what makes them reach out to you for that sort of help, correct? Yes, indeed. Yes. Okay, indeed. good. We're going good here. We got about uh, six minutes left. So awesome. question number four, um, what are the most common mistakes your clients are making? You know, once you start working with them, what do you discover 
that are the most common mistakes they're making? Simply feeling that they can't, or who am I? You know, who, who am I to be an expert? Who am I to be able to, to go out there? For example, and interestingly, the, the, <laughs> the ones who are professionals with the academic world with their letters behind their names, those are the most challenging one in the sense of like, even though they are uh, highly educated, they generally lack that confidence um, that the regular average Joe or Jane may have. And so we just kind of, again, show them others and you know, past experiences and other clients and just a whole team of people who are actually doing this already. And that kind of show them what they can do. But sometimes we even give them a test drive. It's like, okay, well, let's create something for you and show you how you can get this instant credibility right away. And sometimes you have to do it that way to get them into being a client. So that's one of the big mistakes, I think. Most people, even me, when I started out, right? In 20, uh, 2010, I started out on this journey, but you didn't feel like you could be that voice, you know, out there, even though you have all this stuff in your background, it just simply, it's a lack of confidence. Yeah, it's, that's something I hear uh, often. It's it's kind of a mindset issue. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So that's a good you, way to put it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So you, you got to get your mindset right to, to believe that you can do things that you can already do. You just don't know that you can do them or you don't believe you can. Yeah. Okay, we're down to about four minutes, but we're doing good. So if somebody is considering reaching out to you, what's one action that they could take that would help them out now? Not solve all their problems, but but it'll it'll give them a good start. Well, just simply reach out to my website, uh, monetizeyourskills.com or strategicsecrets.com. That's our main company. But if you reach out there, then we can have a strategy call. And in 20 minutes, we can get you, you know, in a direction of where you should go. Okay, sounds good. Um, so, uh, since uh, all entrepreneurs are, are are challenged in one way or another, even those that are six, seven, and eight figure entrepreneurs, um, in your business, what's your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge is right now, which I just actually today I just kind of started a, a subsidiary of the business or an ad additional, is actually fulfilling all the services. Uh, that you offer, right? Because now you're getting more clients. And so I'm at that point now to where it's like, I need to hire more folks. So I think for me is hiring off and staying true to what I am good at and letting others do the rest. So I have a, a now a marketing company that is perfect that I reach out to. And then I was going to handle all of that. So I don't have to worry about any of that anymore. So that's one of the things find your weakness, whatever that weakness may be. And then you focus on your core deliveries and then stay true to that. Yeah, that's that's good advice back from my old athletic days. You know, why waste time trying to improve on stuff that you're not good at anyway? Just become as good as you can be yeah. at, at what you do and uh, let other people fill in those other blanks. So, uh, right. So tell us again, I know you have before, but where can people find you? If you want to learn how to monetize your skills, what that means, taking your education, expertise or experience and leveraging that beyond your business or whatever you're doing, if you're, if you're a job, to be able to create a product, a program or service online, go to start that journey at monetizeyourskills.com. If you are a business owner looking to do other things, you need some marketing help, you need to be able to establish a presence online, then go to strategicsecrets.com, strategicsecrets.com. Excellent. Okay, we're we're moving good. We got one. I got one question left, or actually, it's not a question. It's a request from you, and we got a minute left. Awesome. So, so uh, what's one question that I should have asked and didn't? One question you should have asked is how are you personally doing this? Okay. Right? How am Andrick, I? Doing this? How are you personally doing this? Already. So, for example, I started out just like everyone else, and I created this book called Monetize Your Skills. Now, this book creates about four to six different income streams right here. So I leverage this book into an online course, a coaching program, and other back-end offers. So that's one thing that you can know. So we can see it in a practical way because sometimes clients will ask them, right? You know, okay, I can see this possibility. But when you show them even yourself that you are doing it and have done it, then it makes it even more believable. And so that's a good hook for me there that when I can show them how it's working for me, that also helps them to become clients. That's that's great. You're, you're, that's 
that's uh, proof that you're not just making this stuff up and talking about it. You, you've actually lived it and benefited by it. Yes, sir. All right. Well, we did it, my friend, in less than 10 minutes. Lots of great information. And folks, that's a that's a wrap on another great episode with Randrick Chance this time on uh, the Evolpreneur Secret Show for Entrepreneurs. And just before you leave, if you like this episode, please be so kind to give us a five star review. And if you're so inclined, please uh, share this with a couple of other people. And if you want to make sure you don't miss any future episodes, go to EvolvepreneurSecrets.show. And if you're an entrepreneur, uh, get started on your next great idea today.